Should I become an international student in Australia? Of course! Hi everyone! You're watching the first tool of the inventory. My name is Akshita and I am an international med student studying in UNSW Sydney. Uh, this channel is going to focus on everything about being an international med student in Australia. So today, I'm taking you through all the benefits and hurdles I have identified over the two and a half years I have stayed in Sydney. Uh, if you are in a hurry, timestamps are in the description box so you can skip ahead. But let's get started! So cross-cultural conversation becomes so much more easier when you're an international student. Why? Well, let's see. You're starting a new uni new country, new people, new culture, new department stores, new language in some places. To adjust to all of this, you're going to have to learn certain skills. And that's things like, you know, having an open mind, being ready to learn, learning new things, having a growth mindset, you know, learning new etiquettes of speech. Basically, what you're doing is learning how to get your point across or ask questions or put your opinion forward with people who might not believe the same things as you and think the same way as you. Now, when everything's so exciting, you are going to start missing everything that was old. Look, you're miles and miles and miles away from everyone you knew and were comfortable with. You're out of your comfort zone here. So, you know, you are going to start having that homesickness, whether that's on day one or day 50, doesn't matter, it will hit and it hurts. But then that's why uni has a lot of clubs and societies. You have to take advantage of that. You're not the only one who's feeling this way. Thousands of people sitting in your uni are going to be feeling the exact same way. So get involved with the community. Because when you find friends that relate to you about these feelings, you know, you start to realize you're not alone. It buffers that homesickness. One of the most, most important life skills you're going to learn very quickly is learning how to manage your own household and your own finances. You've started to live in a new place. You're going to learn to pay your own rent, your own bills, your arrange for your own transport, make important decisions like, do I want to travel back and forth every day between my house and my uni and my place of work? Or do I want to live close to uni, pay a higher rent, but not have to pay for transport? Those are real serious decisions to make that you do yourself. You know, and these are recurring bill payments. So you make plans on how you're going to do it. You take up new jobs to pay for those bills. You, uh, you know, if you want to be responsible, you start using apps, you use different techniques, Excel sheets to try and track your expenses and see what you can and can, cannot afford. Now, it's not like you don't get that experience if you're not an international student. You get that somewhat because in Sydney, a lot of high school students are actually encouraged to start earning on their own very early on. But that safety net of your family being around you is not there as an international student. So you're really on your own here. And that gives you that inherent responsibility and you really learn these life skills so much early on. So later in life, when you're actually doing huge investments, you've got enough experience under your belt to deal with these things the right way. That's a bonus. Now, sometimes life throws a little too much responsibility on us. We're, we're a population that's genuinely, you know, inherently a little vulnerable to things that happen citywide, like changes in work hours. We have like, the pandemic is the best example. Like most of the students who chose to stay back in Sydney, there are a lot of them who have to deal with rent they have just lost their job or they are being severely underpaid. So how are they going to make their ends meet? The closing of every single retail shop does not help. So these are things that normally students of our age wouldn't have to combat. But we do have to because we only have ourselves in this place. Now, the best way to get through all of this is just to be aware and using every single resource you have. Uni has a lot of information sessions. That's where we get these kind of information. 
uh, uni has international student advisors, you have financial advisors. These are all free services you can use. You know, there are sometimes a lot of scams that are targeted at international students because they know we pay high fees and we are, you know, vulnerable. So uni actually tells you this, 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 this is probably a scam. Do not answer these things or do not like completely ignore them. So you have those kind of resources available. The best, another thing that you can do is ask your senior international students. They have been here longer than you. They have been in the same degree as you and at the same position as you have been. So it's really worth asking your seniors for an opinion on any drastic decision you're going to make. It's definitely a big plus. So yes, you will get a little bit responsibility that's extra, but I think that it is manageable if you learn to use all the resources you've been provided. A really huge benefit that you have by becoming an international student is you get to start from scratch. Yeah, you have extracurriculars in your resume, but all of those things are kind of faded now because what you do in the new country and new city is going to be recognized more. So do whatever you want to do. Uni has so many societies. You don't have to be good at something to go on and complete it. You could literally be a noob, it's fine. Choose a society, go for it, learn the thing, turn it into a new passion, new career. It's your choice, you can do it. Because Sydney is like very chill and non-judgmental. You can like learn and things, things will be very smooth in that aspect. If like, for example, my high school students, like friends ever knew that I was a dancer for a theater show in the front lines in the advanced group, uh, their jaws would drop into sinkholes. And the same thing goes for your professional sphere. If you are in, a, in, in the place you've always been before, people are going to already know you. There is already an image of you in that society and community. You already have judgments put in place. But if you're starting a new in a new country, new professors, new students, new employment opportunities, you can literally restart your professional career by learning new networking skills or learning from your past mistakes and fixing things up so you get a better chance at doing whatever you want to do. You really get that freedom. And I don't think a lot of people get that if you're not an international student. Here's something no one wants to hear. It costs money. I pay 76,000 in a single year as my fees for UNSW Medicine. My domestic friends wouldn't pay that in their whole degree combined. On top of that, $20,000 a year was the recommended amount that you would require for living expenses in Sydney in 2018. I'm pretty sure it's much higher now. You know, it's, it's really, there's, you really, really are spending a lot to be here. And with your visa limitations, your student life is so heavy, there is really not enough work you can do to cover your fee. You might be able to cover your living expenses to some extent, but definitely not your fees. So there is really no option out here. The best thing to do in these kind of circumstances is to make sure that you keep your eyes peeled out for any offers or scholarships that you might be eligible for. Like just last week, I was at O week of my uni and I came across a stall that was actually providing like subsidized housing for international students specifically. That's really good, you know, chance for you to like reduce and save up something. And then you also have scholarships. Yeah, scholarships might reduce your load just by a few thousand, but hey, something's better than nothing. It's definitely worth it. I do feel a lot more guilty when sometimes I think about how much is being invested in me just so I can study medicine in Australia. And I think you, you just really have to remind yourself that instead of lamenting about how much is being spent on you, you should actually put in as much effort as you can so that you make every penny worth it. Work hard, use every opportunity you get because it's worth it at the end. And you know what? Learning to make every penny count is really not that hard because becoming an international student gives you something really important. It gives you ambition. 
you know, you're making bold moves. You're traveling to a new country. You're learning a new language. You're, you're tackling a new culture. You're tackling new people, new methods of working. You're going to become daring and confident in the process. And you know, like suddenly unrealistic things that are like too far out, out there actually start becoming within your reach. Like, you know, back in 2013, my sister made like the boldest move out of everyone in my family to come study undergrad in Australia. Alone, literally no one in Sydney knew us. Four years later, she had the guts to take a PhD straight after undergrad. And I'm telling you right now, none of us thought that I was going to do undergrad med. I was so prepared to do medical science and then do postgrad medicine. To a point where I actually started studying medical science and use it before coming, before, like when I actually started studying here. And look, two years later, I'm a med student trying to see if I can do a YouTube channel. So like the goals become bigger and bigger and you start reaching for bigger and bigger things. And there's really no limit to what you can and cannot do. It's what you want to want it to be. It really is. And when you realize that you're living your past self's dream, that feeling, insurmountable. So there you have it. Most obvious benefits and hurdles of becoming an international student. If you're still watching in this far, thank you so much for being here. It really means the world to me. If you found anything of value from this video, like it, share it, comment down below and tell me what it was. If there's anything you have questions about, anything you want me to expand on a little bit more, let me know down below. I would love to hear what you think. If you guys found something important out of this, please consider subscribing. I have so many things to tell you guys. But until next Friday, 